Okay. Hail brothers and sisters. Hail Satan. Hail Lucifer. Hail Leviathan. Hail Belial. Hail every demon and every demoness who are the true ancient gods. Ave Satanus. On this beautiful Saturday evening. It's beautiful here, but it's like fucking 30 below and cold, cold enough to freeze you. It's like 30 below zero here tonight. But, you know, it could be worse, right? No matter how bad you got it, it could be a hundred times worse. Like, many people who have a lot of things, especially in Satanism, you still hear a lot of people complaining about, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that, I would like this, I would like that. I would like a lot. Shit, sorry about that. I would like a lot of things, to be honest with you. But I guess in my lifetime, I guess I'm not meant to have them, right? There's a lot of things I would love to have. Like, I'd love to be a millionaire. You know, I really would. I would love to win. The f Who wouldn't, right? I would love to win the lottery, like, $60 million. You know, that would be great. I think that'd be amazing. Actually, I dreamt last night that I won the lottery. And, of course, I bought a house, new home. That'd be my first thing. If I ever, if I ever did win the lottery, that would be the first one. One of the first things I would do is I'd buy a home by, the, by an ocean somewhere. If not by an ocean, by a big lake on the shoreline, that's for sure. And I would have one room, one big room, dedicated to Father Satan. Just strictly his stuff, nothing else. Just strictly stuff that belonged to Father Satan that I would dedicate unto him. But anyway, I noticed a lot of people on social media... And a lot of Satanists, actually, I've, started, I've been starting to notice, I noticed it for a long time, but I'm going to speak on it now. I notice a lot of people, like whether, whether they're theistic Satanists, uh, traditional devil worshippers, same thing in my opinion, though, all those three. You know, no matter what, no matter what they are, whether they're Levant, well, Levant ain't Satanists, they're atheists, 90% of them. Same thing as the Temple of Satan, 90% of them are atheists. But I've noticed that a lot of people who are Satanists, all they do when they come on when they come online, right? When they come on social media, all they do is sorry about the reflection there, the light. All they do when they come online is bitch and moan and complain about everything. Like you name it, they whine and ball about it. And especially a lot of the new, a lot, and I notice with a lot of the new people that come into Satanism, like new people that are new to Satanism, if that's all they hear, and this is true, okay, if that's all new people that, like people that are new to Satanism, new to theistic Satanism, devil worshiping, demonolatry, what have you, if they are new to that, right, like say they're new coming into the path, right, if that's all they hear people doing is bitching and whining and complaining, they're not going to want to be involved. Like, they're really not. And you can think about that one, and it's true. Because in all honesty, why would anybody, right? Why would anybody want to be involved with something or with people, especially be involved with the people, if all they do is bitch and complain? I know I fucking well wouldn't. That's for goddamn sure. I definitely wouldn't. If all I heard was bitching and complaining and moaning, I would go my farthest the op I would go my farthest to stay away from those people. And I even have a lot of people on my I even have people on my friends list, you know, on social media that do the same thing. All they do is fucking bitch and complain. Meanwhile, they have a you know, they have food to eat, they have a roof over the, they have a home to live in or an apartment or a room or whatever. They have a place to sleep, a place they can call home, they have food in their belly, they have water to drink or pop, beer, or liquor, or whatever your vice. <clears throat> and all they all they still do is whine and ball and complain like a bunch of kids, a bunch of teenagers. 
and which is pretty sad actually because that's not setting a good example. Now I try my best to set a good example. I really do. They, and I know I say things on, and I'm probably guilty of this as well, as long with, along with many other people, because I'm definitely not alone. I probably bitch and complain on social media too sometimes about certain things that I shouldn't be bitching about because I should be more thankful and grateful to Father Satan, which I truly am, to be honest with you. Because material-wise, I had a good, I, there's some things I got this week that I really needed bad. Well, I could have lived without them, so, but I'm glad I got them, right? I'm glad it worked out, some of the, some of the things worked out the way they did, because I didn't expect it, to be honest with you, right? There's two things that I, that I, that I got this week that I honestly didn't expect, and they're like fairly big things, you know, and I have Father Satan, and and King Asmodeus and all of the ancients to thank for that. I have all of the ancient demon and demonesses to thank, thank for that. No, no, you know, King Lucifer, beautiful Queen Luth, Queen Astaroth, beautiful Queen Leviathan, you know, King Azazel, King Pazuzu, all of them. I have all of them to thank for that. And I am very thankful to them for it. Very, very thankful. You know, so. I think that most of the satanic community that all they do is bitch and complain about things, they should have a look in the mirror. They should look at themselves and look at their life, right? And look at what they have. Look at look at what Father Satan has blessed them with. Right? Look at what Father Satan has given them compared to some people in the world. Because there's a lot of people in the world, man, that would give anything to have... 1% of what you have, what we have. That, and that's the truth, they really would. Father Satan has blessed his children dearly. And we don't even, re a lot of us don't even, you know, we just get up in the morning, go through our daily routine, do our nightly thing, go to bed, do the same thing over and over again. When there's a lot of people in the world, like millions of people in the world with no bed to sleep in, no place to call home, you know, no food in her belly, no liquids to drink, right? <clears throat> but I'm guilty of this too. But I think that is a very bad example to be set for new, new people that are new to the left-hand path and who are new to Satanism. I really do. I think that's a very bad example, and I don't think we. I think we should have a look at ourselves in the mirror and see what the fuck is going on with us. You know, and ask Father Satan for guidance, and or ask our patron, whichever patron is ours, ask him. You know, can you like? Is there any way you'd be able to help me out in this area and make and help me to be happy, instead of me being like a whiner and complainer and basically a contrary prick all the time, all right? Because we all have our moments. I don't care who we are. No one's, no one's, no one's smiling and singing 29, 24 hours a day. Every day of the week, I don't give a fuck who you are, right? I try my best to be very happy. <laughs> I really do. I do my best, and Father Satan has helped me out in a long, a long way with that. No question about it. And I'll be the first one to say that he has. You know, and I thank the world of him for that. I thank him for that, and I thank his demonic kingdom for that. I really do, because without him, I wouldn't be anything. Without him, I'd probably be actually. Without him, I'd be dead. I know I would. I would have been dead years ago. I would have been dead in my early twenties, probably before, even before I seen my twenty, even before I seen my twentieth birthday. I would have been dead if it wasn't for Father Satan and his demonics and his uh, great demoness and demonesses, his great demons and demonesses. Sorry, because I like calling uh, female demoness, female demons. I like calling them demoness, demonesses. I really do, and. I like calling them demons, demons, male demons, demons. Even though they can switch back and forth to male or female anytime they want to, right? That I'm sure they can do. No question about that. They can do a lot of that. They do a lot of things that we can't, we think that we don't even, wouldn't even be able to fathom. They do so much. 
for everyone, not for everyone in the satanic community, you know, for, not just for ourselves, right? As our job as fathers of Satan's children to get closer to him, as close to him as we can possibly can. And I'm, I'm going to let this one go and I'll do another video and I'll try to upload them tonight if I can. Obviously, Tana, say, oh, Satan, talk to you next. Have a safe Saturday evening. Obviously, Tana, say, oh, Satan. Love you all.